at this point you should probably be aware Warframe 1999 is basically the big update coming in 2024. Apparently. Maybe. But in this we got to see Hayden Tenno's first appearance in Warframe. But he's not from the Warframe universe. No. In fact, technically he is. But he's not. Because Hayden Tenno is actually from Dark Sectors. Dark Sectors, of course, is what Warframe was originally pitched as. Though it became a completely different game and the original Dark Sectors eventually became Warframe, they bet everything on Warframe and went for it. Granted, they're probably really glad they did, but at the same time, Hayden Tenno was pulled from Warframe because he was from Dark Sectors. This is being re-added using Master Entrati's alternate reality. Let's call it engine. And I'm only saying that because we actually get to see a, a metro train kind of flying through the Warframe universe. This is where things are going to get weird. But it was pointed out by quite a few people that during this whole animation we're missing something kind of major from Hayden Tenno here. He's using a scanner. He's not using the melee weapon of choice for dark sectors. So it leads to the question of, oh, I don't really want to go spoilers for dark sectors here. It is a game from 2008, so I think it's fine to say... It's not really a spoiler at this point, but the glaive is basically part of his arm. So why is he not using it? He is wearing the armor that you get, <laughs> what, half an hour before the end of Dark Sectors? You get that armor really late in the game, but it, it feels like he was always kind of wearing it. Even if technically this armor is already kind of in Warframe the proto skin to go with the proto armor and you can kind of see the infection in the arm because the glaive is part of Hayden Tenno's arm whereas on the other hand all of the imagery of Hayden Tenno an older version of Hayden Tenno has him wearing Excalibur's armor literally that is Excalibur's armor the weird thing about it is if you look at his chin under his neck it's kind of the, in, the infection's still there, so if that is true, where's the glaive? And why has the scanner got a completely different handle on this image than it does in any of the videos? Or am I just overthinking that one? Nope, it does in fact have that handle on it, and would you say that is actually the scanner on his back or not? It looks like the scanner, but the scanner with a handle? Hmm. Can honestly say... I didn't notice that till this point until I kind of mentioned it there. But he is missing a, a little bit of a thing missing from his arm. And he never once tries to use the glaive. Is this going to be addressed in the whole storyline we have? Or we have coming when this eventually turns up? Because he just kind of doesn't use it. He just uses that primary and a scanner. But you can see the arm, the glow's gone. Is it possible that this is an alternate, alternate timeline Hayden Tenno? Especially since Hayden Tenno is technically from 2008. And this is from... Well, it starts December 31st, as you're about to see, 1999. Is it going to go back from here? Because they've called it Warframe 1999 when there's about five minutes of it that is actually 1999. The rest of it from here onwards, well, from Master and Trotty's appearance till further on, is kind of 2000. It's a bunch of weird names, but it never addresses where the glaive is at all. Because when it does go melee, it's Scanner. The kind of missed a few things here, but was this done on purpose? Yes, I did notice the scanner was not where well, scanner was used. The glaive wasn't used, and the glaive is Hayden Tenno's signature weapon. Literally, it's part of his arm. 
that is why the proto skin comes with a proto glaive because it kind of has to it is part of the well it's not part of the armor it is part of i mean come on excalibur's abilities as well i don't remember him doing that in dark sectors and the infection just doesn't seem to be on the arm because the light under the chin it looks like it's part of excalibur's armor and he's just missing the inf infection up the side of the face. It's... There are more questions raised here than anything that was kind of answered during this. Is this the same Hayden Tenno? Does he have the infection that gives him the glaive? We don't know. The fact that he is wearing the Excalibur armor raises even more questions as to why is he not wearing the proto armor? If the proto armor in Warframe is in fact the same, which we all know it's not. Look, it's the proto armor that he is wearing, not the Excalibur's armor. So why is he not wearing proto armor during all of this? Obviously, something will answer this, given nothing more than time, because it's not due out till the end of next year. Yeah, I would love to have seen the glaive in action. A lot. I mean, just. That is the proto armor, minus the infected arm. But you can see the infection on the side of his face. So, is it the same Hayden Tenno from Dark Sectors? I'm going to have to go with possibly not. But at the same time, maybe Excalibur's armor was a an updated version of this. And this was actually the prototype for the Excalibur armor in that universe. Hence, he's not wearing Excalibur's armor, well, anymore. He's wearing the Proto armor here. But then again, this is a younger version. So maybe Excalibur is, you know, the evolution of the Proto armor. The Proto armor being a prototype. That is probably why he's not wearing the Proto armor. Because it has evolved. It's a prototype. He's wearing Excalibur's armor instead of this armor. But where's the infection? Where was the glaive? Only time will tell. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here, because I'm going way too much into depth about the Warframe 1999 trailer. More so why the kind of... I really want to say ripped off Sunset Overdrive, but we're not going there either. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.